Let's see how to define a 3D model with the Beam Editor. We are going to use a DXF format, so this will be the reference file, and we are going to use the generic volume. So upload a DXF file, and let's choose a scale factor. We are now importing the entity. So now we need to model the construction. We are going to use a very powerful command and this is the generic volume. So zoom, draw your first shell, Then the second one. Then you can apply. This one will be the third one. This other will be our obstruction. So now we are done. Let's go to the 3D view. Now I see the 3D volume. It represents my building. In order to correctly model the building, I can use the inclined surface. So I'm going to model other pieces with uh, these commands, the inclined surfaces. So we are modeling other pieces on a 3D volume on the inclined surface. I can apply now. I'm in the editor and I'm going to correctly collocate the inclined surfaces area. So done this operation, we can put the inclined slope. We move the first point and then we can move the second point. Let's use a 30% inclination. So now I'm going to vertically fill the surface. I see that drawing is not perfect, so I will change it because Solaris recognizes different snap. So I can now align everything. Then as we see before, we can close vertically the surface. So now it's done. We created the first part. I can stay in the editor and model the second surface. So the second part of the roof. We change points again. So we can define the new inclination. I can set the height of the point and then I can vertically fill it uh, again. I'm creating with easy steps from anything a 3D architectural model. Now we are going to create the third part of the roof in the same way with the same steps. 
Don't worry if you draw an incorrect line, you can always add it and change it. So then we can put the inclination, we choose how to set the point. So then we can close the roof on the lateral edges. So we obtain a 3D model in which I can design the PV plant on the inclined surfaces. What about the obstacle? I can select it. I can push a CTRL plus space or plus backspace and I can select the obstacle and then I can make uh, an extrusion. So what happens with an obstacle? First of all, we can assign materials to the object, so we can see the difference uh, in the model. So we assign material to the chimney. Now we are done. So I modeled the building from a DXF file. DXF is very useful as a guide file. If we design the plant with an obstacle, Solarius recognizes uh, the edge of the obstacle. So it recognizes the azimuth angle, it recognizes the, the tilt angle, and it recognizes the, um, the edge of the obstacle too. So we can design on whole area and click finish. So we are going to design uh, with all architectural constraints. The exposition, for example. We choose the modules. For example, now we can choose the polycrystalline type. So with the design criteria, we obtain the maximum modules as you see from the window, Solarius is able to recognize automatically obstacle and intersection between surface and obstacle. So he puts um, an offset around the, the obstacle. During the next videos, we are going to see a new and very important potential we are going to see an IFC file, so a file from uh, another authoring software, for example, Halplan, Archicad, Edificius. So we are going to design from an external 3D modeler.